welcome back to my channel. I'm James, and today we're going to dive into one of these kind of classic horror, comedy, kind of black comedy movies that I've always really enjoyed. So today I'm excited to announce we're going to deep dive into Army of Darkness on 4K Ultra HD. And this is the brand new Scream Shout Factory release with the brand new 4K scan that they've released on 4K Ultra HD for the first time worldwide. Now, this got into me early for review about two weeks before the release date. So I've been working on this over the last week here. This should be available for you to watch roughly about a week and a half before the actual release date comes out. So it'll give you plenty of time to dive into this review, discover if this is something actually worth spending your money on and upgrading to or buying. Now, if you decide you wanna pick up or buy this release after watching my review, I always have the links listed down in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. Those are the Amazon links that take you straight out to Amazon. That's at no extra cost to you and is on sale for the same prices everywhere. But it does help to support this YouTube channel just a tiny bit when you click through those links. So make sure when you get done watching this review and hearing my review score at the end, if you decide you're going to buy this, make sure to click through those links that I posted down below. Now I'm going to be doing my exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparisons to show you the difference between this new 4K and the previous Blu-ray editions that are available and let you see exactly what the differences are between it and how much of an upgrade it actually is. And then at the end I'll always wrap it up with my sum up of my review score. That gives you an idea of what the total quality is of this release all the special features, the content, the image, and the audio quality. Now, if you haven't done so already, make sure to go down and give this video a like, give this video a thumbs up and a like for me, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you never miss out on any of this exclusive or early content that you're only gonna find here on my YouTube channel. Now to start off with, we're gonna dive into and just do a brief comparison here of the original 2009 Universal Blu-ray release that came out. Now. This is something that I've done exclusively for years here on this YouTube channel, but in this case, we're just gonna dive into this one for a brief second. The image you see above is always the native images that are pulled off of every single one of these Blu-rays and the 4K discs. That always means without all the stuff you can pump up on your TV, these are the native images that are actually present on the discs as the way they're intended to be viewed. Well, on this Blu-ray disc from 2009, it actually had an incorrect color grading on it. It was far too heavy in the yellow brownish range. It also had DNR and edge enhancement and numerous other issues that plagued this 2009 Blu-ray release. Now, in comparison to the new Shout and Scream Factory release, compared to that old 2009, there's absolutely no comparison. This is why I wanted to start off with this, just with a screenshot to show you as an example, so you got an idea off of that first. We're eliminating that one right off the bat. It was so many issues and problems with that 2009 Blu-ray doesn't come anywhere even close to comparing to the quality of the new theatrical cut on 4K that Scream Factory did with a brand new 4K scan from the original camera negatives. That original 2009 Blu-ray with all the DNR and edge enhancement and the brownish yellowish color tint that made everybody just look really kind of jaundiced and it just it looked bad altogether. Blows away that one. So we're going to move on from the 2009 Blu-ray because there's absolutely no comparison to that one. There were so many things wrong with it. That one you're going to throw away. You're never going to watch again anyways. Now showing you the 2015 Shout and Scream Factory release on Blu-ray that was prior to this 2022 release. That one was based on the original 2009 Blu-ray that I originally started off showing you. They used a lot of the elements that the 2009 Blu-ray had, but did reworking of them. So it still had some present edge enhancement slightly in it. It had some DNR throughout it. Now it was massive improvements and leaps and bounds above the previous 2009 Blu-ray I started off showing you. As you can see in the comparison above, it does look better than the 2009 did but it was levels of improvement. It didn't still have a great overall image that blew you away. It looked good compared to 2009. Now compared to the 2022 4K scan they did for this new 4K Ultra HD release, obviously this 4K Ultra HD looks even better than that. But that's where I wanted you to see those levels of improvement, just so you kind of got a brief idea of what that first 2009, if you still own that, how much of a huge improvement this is over that. But then even compared to the 2015, that was still levels of improvement over the 2009, but still there was work to be done that they have made drastic improvements and made this look even better than that. 
Gone on this 2022 release are the edge enhancement, the DNR, any of those issues are completely gone from this. They did a brand new 4K scan from the original camera negatives. This doesn't have any of those orangey brown incorrect color grading to hair and skin and whites. That's all gone. The new color grading is the best that Army of Darkness has ever looked. Now, if you own the previous Shout and Scream factory release from 2015, it was still a nice improvement over 2009's Blu-ray, but I was really surprised to see how much of an improvement this was over even that. Now, there are some things in this that we're gonna dive into with my testing that are things that are inherent to the original camera negatives that we're gonna talk about here. Now, this is a brand new native 4K 2160p representation that had a 4K scan from the original camera negatives and was approved by the original director, Sam Raimi. So that's what's unique about this release versus even the 2015 or 2009 before that was because they were not brand new scans that were done from the original camera negatives. They were using elements that were done from the previous 2009 Blu-ray, which is why there was only certain improvements you got, not as drastic improvements as you got on this release of the theatrical cut. Now the Dolby Vision and the HDR10 that's present on the 4K release of this does look very good on this. It does shine through with the lights to darks that really enhance the picture overall. Though I will say between the Dolby Vision and the HDR10, there wasn't that much of a difference between either of them. There were some slight differences I noticed just in colors. I do feel like the Dolby Vision just slightly had maybe three to 4% more color saturation or slightly different color look than what actually the HDR10 had. But it's very, very minimal and hardly noticeable. I mean, you have to be sitting there side by side to see it. Now on the 4K Ultra HD release, they did retain the original aspect ratio of 1.85 to 1. They didn't change it or cut it down at all. So that's good news. Now, if you haven't done so already, make sure to go down and give this video a like, a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Now the good news on this release is they did not shove in the Blu-ray with the theatrical cut of the 2015 release that Shout and Scream Factory did previously. I did test it out and it is a brand new scan that was done, the 4K scan, just put onto Blu-ray. So basically you're dumbing down the 4K image, the native 4K, down to 1080p without the HDR and Dolby Vision but it is a brand new Blu-ray of the theatrical cut, so it looks way better than the Blu-ray you had from the 2015 edition as well. So that's another big upgrade that they did give us in this set. So even if you haven't upgraded to 4K yet, buying this limited edition set is a good option because you get the Blu-ray with the new scan, which is much better than what you see there. Just remember, it's not gonna be the full 4K that you're seeing over here. Now something I had to do a little bit differently for this release because this is such a massive release. And what I mean by that is, is there is four discs in this set of numerous different cuts of the film. So I'm gonna kind of talk about that here for a second. Basically, the 4K Ultra HD release they gave us is of the theatrical cut. That's personally my favorite cut of the film. I think it has a better pace than a lot of them. I feel like the director's cut and some of the other cuts added in things that to me weren't necessarily necessary didn't really enhance the story that much for me. And I kind of felt like kind of oddly paced it out even more so. I really thought personally the theatrical cut kept the pace moving very well with the jokes and the humor in it, that there wasn't anything that it lingered on for too long. So the theatrical cut is what we get on the new 4K scan and restoration they did for this. Now, that's on your first disc here. That's your 4K Ultra HD disc, and that is region free. Now, talking about this disc, the first disc that's your 4K with the theatrical cut, that's the one with the new scan. That one is the best image quality out of all the cuts of the film in this, but I ranked them a little differently, so that way you kind of get an idea of the quality and image quality of each one. Now, audio quality wise between them, of the new scans and like the international cut, audio quality between all of those was very similar. You get English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 and a 2.0 stereo mix on basically each of the cuts of the film, though there is some slight differences in the audio quality. Both the 4K and the new Blu-ray disc with the new 4K scan of the theatrical cut. Audio sounded the same on those. It was nice and crisp and clear. You can hear it just fine. And on the international cut, it had a very similar audio mix. The director's cut and the television cut, those are the ones that the audio mix was not as great on. You could still hear it fine, and I'm not gonna say it was like 50% worse, I'd probably say it was about 10% not as good overall range or bass in it that there was on the theatrical cut of the new scan and obviously the international cut. Now, going back to the quality of these, these two discs, 
You have your first quality is your 4K. That's obviously the best image quality. The Blu-ray of the theatrical cut with that new scan comes in second. Now, coming in third is going to be your international cut. International cut had the basically third best image quality of the releases of this, and that's because it was scanned from the interpositive. So that one comes in third. Number fourth on image quality is your director's cut. You're getting a lot worse image quality by the time you get to that director's cut. Um, there's a lot of elements that were either missing or they scan from different things. There's some slight SD inserted footage, deleted scenes, things like that. So the director's cut does come in fourth for image quality. And then the last image quality, which is the worst of all of them, is the TV cut, because a lot of that is SD, what exists of that. So the television cut is more or less kind of a, just kind of exciting anomaly to have on there as a collector to have the option for it. But the television cut is the worst quality image wise of all of them and audio wise. Now, talking about the Blu-ray discs in here, all of the standard Blu-ray discs in here are region A locked. As always, I exclusively test them as always here on my YouTube channel. Every one of the Blu-rays in here, so there's three of them, are all region A locked. The 4K is the only one that is region free. So those of you that wanna buy or import this outside of the US to a country outside of the US or region A, for example, so if you live in Canada, you're fine, Mexico, you're fine, America, you're fine, but anywhere outside of that, you will need a multi-region or a region free player that I've done reviews on and talked about dozens of times over the years on this YouTube channel. But as far as the rest of it goes, your 4K disc with that new scan is region free. Now, if you live outside of region A and you do decide you wanna buy this or import this, that Amazon link I've listed down below in the description section and as a pinned comment will ship anywhere worldwide. So when you click on that, it'll import it and ship it to anywhere worldwide for you. So that link does take care of that for you. Now, touching on a little bit more of the image quality differences here. On the 4K Ultra HD theatrical cut, you do get a big improvement over what you had in that 2015, both in sharpness and in clarity without it having edge enhancement. So because they left the natural film grain that basically 2015 had some of, but it still had some scenes that still had some DNR usage in it, this one doesn't have those DNR scenes at all. So you can see a lot more details, though that is inherent to adding more where you can kind of see more of the mistakes they made in the film. So there are instances now that you never noticed on the previous Blu-ray where like you can see the strings hanging from the car when it's coming out of the sky and slamming on the ground or some of the strings that are holding onto the skeletons where they're doing the stop motion movement and things like that. Um, there are scenes that you can see that more so now with this new 4K scan than what you ever could see on the previous Blu-ray. So if that's something that bothers you, just keep that in mind. That's inherent to a lot of these basically older films that they did special effects where they had puppets or like stop motion or things like that. You can kind of see more of those with those new 4K scans. It doesn't bother me because I already know it's a movie and I mean, I don't really think of Army of Darkness as necessarily a realistic movie anyways. It is kind of just a goofy, hokey, horror, um, zombie. I don't even know what to call it. It's a mishmash of about a dozen things, but it's an enjoyable film and a fun ride. It's just one of those things that I don't go into it expecting it to be realistic. So when I see those things, I kind of already knew they were there, so I, it doesn't bother me. But you do notice them more because it doesn't have any of that DNR applied or edge enhancement. Now, talking about basically there is at the beginning of the film on this new 4K scan, when you see the Universal logo, and then through the introduction of them kind of giving the backstory of Evil Dead 1 and Evil Dead 2, when they do that whole introduction, there is some minor digital artifacting and blocking you will see for that first maybe five to maybe 10 minutes, nine minutes of the movie, randomly throughout it at the beginning there, there is some digital artifacting you'll notice, especially if you have a calibrated 4K player and display you're watching it on, you'll see those details and you'll see how there'll be some around, especially around the edges and corners. Um, there's some blocking and artifacting, um, digital artifacting that'll show up there from the restoration process they did that does show up. Now, I'm happy to announce that only lasts for those few minutes at the beginning and then it's gone and you don't notice it through the rest of the film. Though with the film grain on this new 4K, you do notice some of the film grain inconsistencies more so than what you did on the 2015, simply because there's different film elements and different camera negatives they're using to create this, that they're pulling from different elements to actually go through and make this 4K scan, that it seems like there's sometimes there's quite a bit more heavier film grain that's kind of fluctuating a little bit, and then the film grain will smooth out and it's still just as heavy, but it's not fluctuating, so it doesn't seem as heavy because it's not moving around as much. 
And that's kind of all throughout the entire film. It's never super consistent throughout it, though the 2009 and the 2015 always had the same issues. It's just with those, because there was DNR on them, a lot of the times the DNR would get rid of a lot of the film grain altogether. So maybe you wouldn't notice it in some scenes, especially some of the later on darker scenes. You didn't notice in the 2015 as much, where you'll notice it a little bit more on this because it's a new scan without DNR. You do see that film grain more heavy, but again, like I've always said, you don't want them to remove that. So the good news is they didn't remove it. It's just Army of Darkness is never going to be an absolutely gorgeous film. Just go into that understanding that. I mean, it really is one of those films. It was never treated kindly. It was never stored greatly by Universal. Universal's never really cared that much for this film. That's why Scream and Shout Factory are able to acquire it and constantly release it and update it and do new scans of it. It just seems like Universal just never really cared that much about it, which makes no sense because in my opinion, this is my favorite of the Evil Dead trilogy. I absolutely love Army of Darkness compared to Evil Dead 1 and Evil Dead 2. This one's my favorite. I think the humor in it's good. I think Bruce Campbell's great in it. And I think Sam Raimi really crafted a really good horror comedy, like just kind of tongue in cheek type movie that it just really holds up even the comedy to today. Though I will say if you've never seen the film, it does go to some extreme lengths for that comedy that nowadays, if you're not used to it, there are some things that it really pushes on. Like, you know, when the little people are attacking him and things like that, and they're little persons of him and things like that. And some people say, oh, it lingers too long on that. I don't feel that. It's just that that's kind of the humor that was behind it is he would kind of linger on some things a little bit longer to kind of give you that tongue in cheek humor. Now, touching on this new 4K scan and this new release from Scream and Shout Factory special features. I do have some good news for you. Because of the massive amount of discount in this and all the special features they crammed into this set, you get every single special feature that I could possibly ever find that was released on any previous home video release ever. DVDs, Blu-ray releases, they are all contained in this release. So really great job by Shout and Scream Factory giving us on four discs every single special feature that possibly could exist of this with a bunch of new ones they had from that 2015 release. Those are all included on this as well with nothing missing. So you really do get the definitive edition of all the special features included in this as well. Now, talking about the image here, there are several optical shots that still retain quite a bit of damage that when they did this new scan, you see that damage quite a bit more than what you did on any of the previous Blu-ray releases. Again, due to some DNR edge enhancement and things they did on those, this you do notice it because of the new 4K scan, especially again, kind of towards the beginning of the movie when the car drops out of the sky and he first arrives in that sandy area when all the troops show up. Basically there you'll see there's a lot of damage on it and later on there's some shots as well that have some damage. Um, those are not repaired and it seems like they're always going to exist there because of the damage to it, but they're still present and I just wanted to make sure you knew about that. They're kind of inherent to basically the films and how they were stored and the damage that's on them. Now as I said, my favorite cut of the film is the theatrical. Each one of you might have a cut that you prefer, whether it's the director's cut or the international cut or the TV version. Um, the nice thing is Shout and Scream Factory gave us all of them in this with basically giving us the theatrical one in the new 4K. Now, some people are gonna complain and say, man, I'm upset because they didn't give us the director's cut or the international cut in 4K. Well, my understanding from all of my research on it is, is that basically those cuts of the films, the director's cut and the international cut, they did not have all the film elements to do a brand new 4K scan from the original camera negatives, especially some of those deleted scenes and basically and scenes that were in standard definition and things like that. So they wanted to provide the theatrical cut because they could actually get all the elements that were necessary to do that new 4K scan. So I understand why they did that now. Would I not have liked all of those other ones in 4K as well? Yes. I would have loved to have all the other cuts of the film in 4K as well. But at least we got the theatrical cut, which I like personally best because of the pacing of it. But the rest of the cuts of this are included in this in the best quality that they've ever been available in previously before on Blu-ray. So you do get those in this. It's not like they didn't give them to us. They just didn't do brand new 4K scans because they didn't have all the elements, which is kind of my understanding of why those probably never will get 4K scans. This is the definitive edition I think we're ever gonna get of Army of Darkness. So that's where I'll get to my review score here. I really enjoyed Army of Darkness in 4K. I thought it looked great. The details that shine through on it, like I said, you'll notice some details like 
when the army is fighting later on in darkness and things like that, you'll notice some details even in the skeletons where you can kind of see things that maybe they didn't intend you to see originally that now with the new 4K scan you can, which kind of adds to the humor of the movie, I think. It kind of adds to almost a slightly hokey horror of it, which I kind of like to it. It kind of adds a little bit even more charm to the movie. But basically this new 4K scan I thought did look really good. So my review score for Army of Darkness with all the special features, everything they've given in this, and how good it looks even compared to the original 2015 Blu-ray and the 2009. This gets a great 8.9. This is a worthy upgrade and something that is worth spending your money on and upgrading to, especially if you enjoyed the theatrical cut, you're gonna see this in the best quality it's been released on ever. Now, it didn't get up above the nines up to the tens simply because Again, all those things I listed off. I mean, obviously the artifacting and things that are present on it, the film damage that's there, and just all those things that are inherent with the release in and of itself. It's an 8.9, and it's a good 8.9, and it is a great release, and this is the best and definitive way to buy Army of Darkness. If you already own it on the previous 2015 release, the question you need to be asking yourself is, do you like the theatrical cut? If you do, then this is a must buy. This is something you must buy and add to your collection. Now, if you own the 2009 one I talked about at the beginning briefly, that one obviously, you must buy this. This is such a massive upgrade over that. But it depends on what level and what cut of the movie you like the best. If you obviously like the director's cut and the international cut, then the 2015 one's gonna have those in it and you get that same cuts in this. But that theatrical cut is such a big upgrade in 4K and looks so outstanding compared to what you got in 2015 or even the horrible 2009, that this is a worthy buy. But again, it is an 8.9, so keep that in mind. It's never gonna be a reference quality release. We don't get Dolby Atmos in it. Um, that would have been kind of cool to get a Dolby Atmos mix where they went and reworked it, but they didn't. So again, 8.9 is a great review score. This is one I suggest picking up and buying. Now, Steelbook wise, I kind of showed you when I was going through the discs in this, but I bought the Steelbook. I absolutely love the Steelbook. It's got shiny cover on it. I like the Steelbook in this case and did think price wise because they're so similar in price, it was worth buying the Steelbook because it's a limited edition. On the side here, it does say Army of Darkness. I like how it matches all the spines of what Shout Scream Factory do. And then on the back here, you obviously get skeletons attacking and some more images, obviously, of Ash coming through the portal and things like that. So I really like the cover and artwork they did for the Steelbook. Now I will have both linked down below in the description section below. So depending on whether you want the standard edition that comes with a limited edition slip cover, or whether you want the Steelbook with the newly commissioned artwork, this is also limited edition, I will have those listed down in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. So make sure if you decide you're gonna buy either of these to click through those Amazon links I posted down below. That doesn't cost you anything extra and it's on sale for the same prices everywhere. It does just help to support this YouTube channel just a tiny bit and it does make a difference. So make sure if you're gonna buy it to click through one of those links below. Now I'm always curious to hear your thoughts on the film. How excited are you for Army of Darkness? Let me know which version or cut of the film is your favorite. If you're a fan of the theatrical cut of the film, you must buy this because this is the best way to watch Army of Darkness ever. That's how good this actually looks compared to the previous cuts. But just like I said, depending on the other cuts, that's where it's gonna vary on what you're looking for out of this. But to me, it was a worthwhile upgrade and was something I was excited to get in over two weeks early to create this review for all of you. If you enjoy all this hard work and time I put into all of these exclusive comparison reviews, just like what you're seeing up above, make sure to join my Collector's VIP Club membership. That is the best way possible to support the creation of these videos. And the only way I can continue to do this is always through all of you, my viewers and subscribers support. That VIP club costs less than the price of a cup of coffee each month, but that few dollars makes a drastic difference on the creation of these videos. That's how I'm able to keep affording to spend all this time testing all of these, getting all the data together, creating all the exclusive image comparisons, and then creating all these videos that all of you love watching here on my YouTube channel. So please make sure to join my VIP Collectors Club. Every single membership makes a drastic difference in me being able to continue to create all this content. You can also give a super thanks through the super thanks button down below. Even if you only wanna give a dollar or two, you can do that through that button down below. That helps to support this channel and goes right back into this as well. Don't forget to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. And as always, I've always got something new and exciting coming out very soon.